So learn to understand how the paradigm works and work within it. Basically, he says that our paradigm is our biocomputer. Garbage in, garbage out is how I related it. Heard that all through school, all through college. Garbage in, garbage out. Whatever you spend your time on, that's what you become. So if you're spending your time focused on the negativity of things, that's what you're going to get. That's what's going to that's what's going to come out. Is negativity, 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 negativity. Don't like that world. I'll live in the positive world. Thank you. But our paradigm is our biocomputer. The people writing the code had no idea what they were doing. Let me say that again. Our paradigm is our biocomputer. The people writing the code had no idea what they were doing. Got to read that one more time just to make sure it sinks in. My paradigm is my biocomputer. Garbage in, garbage out. The people writing my code had no idea what they were doing. Our parents, our grandparents, our friends, our coworkers, our bosses, people you meet on the street, anyone that you have any contact with when you were younger, had no idea what they were doing. They had no idea how they were programming you. They did not even realize, they were not aware of the fact that they were programming you. They did not know they were writing the program that would run my life. My paradigm is my biocomputer. The people writing my code had no idea what they were doing. They did not know that they were writing the program that would run my life. Okay. For you parents that are out there, still raising kids, I still have two minors in the house right now. You are in the process of writing the code that will run your child's life later. Now you're aware. Now you know. What are you going to do about it? You hold the power in your hands. Choose wisely what you do. Some people already know what they do. They don't give a rat's butt what they do. They definitely want to pass on the quote unquote generational curse. But for those of us who live in the positive side of things, choose wisely. Choose wisely what you say and what you do to that little one that you are raising. Do you want to raise them to be another negative Nelly, Debbie Downer? Narcissistic control freak? Bully? Or are you gonna take what you now know, what I've just given you, that you're writing their code, you're writing the program, you're writing the code, the program that's gonna run the rest of their life. Choose wisely. Remember when I said, you are awesome, you're amazing, I believe in you, you are worthy. You deserve that. I believe that was given to you to help others. I believe that was given to you to change the world. I believe that you are going to do great things in your life. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe you can make things happen. I believe you can change the world for the better. 
I believe you have the knowledge to make that happen. I believe you know how and where to get the knowledge to make that happen. I believe you are going to be a successful person in life. I believe you are going to be a best-selling author. I believe you are going to create multiple businesses, bringing in multiple figures. I believe you're going to have that house. I believe you're going to have that car. I believe you're going to have the most amazing job ever. I believe you are going to have an impact on life like no other. A positive impact on life like no other. I believe you are going to positively influence people into a positive way of life. I believe when you set your mind to something, it's gonna happen. I believe you can run that fast. I believe you can swim that great. I believe you will earn the gold medal. I believe you're going to travel the world with that. I believe you're going to influence the influencers who influence the world to make the world a better place. I believe you are going to create multiple, multiple. I'm in the blank. Fill in the blank. You are programming. You are pro you're writing the code. You, you are the one who's going to write the program, write the code that is going to run their life. You want to break the generational curse? Start there. Start there. Not only say that to them to their face, record it, and play it on a CD or, or uh, the tablet or whatever the heck modern technology has at the time, put it on repeat. They say you should get eight hours of good sleep. Clip it so that it runs for eight hours. Press the repeat button on the CD player. Press the loop button on the computer. Start now, and you will break those generational curses faster than any of the rest of us have. <laughs> I found out so much stuff about my family and some of the generational curses that something shouldn't surprise me that have happened and occurred in our lives. Now I'm aware. Now it's time to make the change. Now you're aware. Now it's time for you to make a change. Your paradigm is your biocomputer. The people writing that code have no idea what they are doing. They did not know they were writing the program that would run their life. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. See. Be careful what you see, be careful what you hear, be careful what you speak, be careful what you do.